Hello everyone, and welcome back to the walkthrough. Take them all challenge. Take them all on challenge, I say. Level 3 continues with another boss. Yep, as I said, it's we're in the boss rush phase. Oh. Oh, the boss rush phase. <laughs> But we gotta do it! We've gotta do it, for there is a great reward waiting for us at the end of this that we can get for free. Well, by free, I mean our time. <laughs> so, for this one, obviously, you gotta get our whip out. And cross the gaps to, with the utmost precision so we don't fall into the abyss. And also, don't get poisoned. Because I, I was very reckless on this boss before when I played it, but I cannot afford that sort of recklessness here. Because I've got to get through this first try, otherwise it's going to drive me... Ah, I forgot there was another one there. Dang it! I was going to say it's going to drive me batty if I don't make it. <laughs> we should make it, though. We should make it. We've got two yellow potions, and as long as I use them properly like when I'm down to the last two hearts or so and I don't get don't try and scrape down the hearts the absolute minimum I mean that I, that I can have to survive and then I accidentally get take a hit while I'm tapping on the menu or something and die and I don't have a purple potion to revive me because I drank it so I would have room for the double yellow and yeah so let, let's just let's play this as smart as we possibly can <laughs> So if we start getting relatively close to low on health, uh, we're, we'll we'll um, we'll drink the potion. The four hearts right now is pretty okay. Okay, I'm gonna wait for the wait for the poison here. There we go. Yeah, the poison always like at least one of the droplets always seems to aim directly for you. So I, I just always gotta wait that out to make sure that we've got the the dodge intact because otherwise we're gonna end up taking damage from that as well and as I said it all adds up so just relax and use your knowledge on the bosses to your advantage so that you can avoid their attacks to your absolute fullest of health <laughs> there we go we're going off to this side and yeah. off Really, or just one more hit to reach the next phase? What a ripoff! <laughs> All right, now we wait, and we wait some more for vulnerable point time. Yep, just gotta destroy those nodules on your noodle. That should be okay. Yep, that will do. Alternating your tentacle attacks. Oh, what? supposed to be able to do that while you were get while you were already hit that's weird <laughs> that's okay though we're still making good on our health beer so all is well in the hood <laughs> come on come on make yourself vulnerable oh Ooh, that was I could have gone bad I didn't take any damage there but all turned out okay no no shoot Took, a, took slight damage. Oh, took some damage there. That's not good. That's not good. I put myself in an awkward position. Okay, this should be it. It should be the end of fight. Side tops, fight tops, whatever you want to pronounce it as. And another beam of light. And another boss is coming up. <laughs> I know, I know. I know, it's bad. But it's not my fault they designed it this way. <laughs> yeah, it's after you get past the, like, regular rooms, it's bosses back to back to back to back to back. And yeah. <laughs> so behold the Kragma once again. Well, I guess this is... Uh, a good opportunity to redeem myself or how badly I played this thing the last time so no cuts this time in the camera we're gonna play this from beginning to end no issues whatsoever okay there's probably gonna be a ton of issues <laughs> since you know it's attack pattern already I might as well just go straight to the actual 
you know, just skipping through phases and whatnot. So let's just, whenever I can get an opportunity on his belly, I'll just go for it. And I'll also, also be focusing on getting arrows whenever I need to. Uh, just break that boulder, please, because I need a platform out of that. Thank you. <laughs> I'll also grab these arrows over here. I didn't grab those other ones because they're kind of out of my way. And I was more concerned about getting on here, so... Yeah, we're, we're okay though. We are okay. Alright, let's take on its multiple nipples here. And just shoot through. Shoot with 100% accuracy. Like your life depended on it, and it kind of does for the sake of the challenge of imitation Jolene. Obviously, a light arrow isn't really doing much of anything extra here. It's just, you know, I'm just holding it in place for whenever I have an opportunity to actually be able to be able to shoot them. And also, oh, shoot, 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 shoot. Yes, there we go. Yeah, you gotta, it's, when you're up at the top there and you can shoot at its eye, you have to put the, the cursor at a weird spot, like just to the right of the eye for it to be able to hit. I don't understand why that is. Maybe it's because we're shooting in the direction that he's turning. And then it, it moves the eye in into where the arrow is, but it doesn't seem like that with any of the other spots, so I don't know why it's just with that one, but it isn't with the glowing nipples. Anyway, boing. meteor shower! I'd like some more arrows before, well, I guess you're not going to drop any arrows right now, that's okay, you're just going to kind of break this apart for me. There we go. Oh, there's an arrow. Beautiful! Oh, there's another arrow. Beautiful! I'm probably going to have to drop this to get out of the way here. <laughs> you didn't crush it, did you? You did okay, good. Good, 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 good. More arrows. I'll grab that too. Just max them out. Um, just in case. No! I didn't... And I lost my platform too. Well... Well... <laughs> it shouldn't be that big of a deal. It's just going to go all angry-like and do another Meteor Mash. Oof. Here they come! Here they Watch the other one be on this, um, this side again, at the farthest reaches of the galaxy. Alright, over here, good boy. Oh, you actually nicked me there. How dare you? How dare you nick me? <laughs> Alright, now, you're not going to be able to hit me over here, but you're, you're falling... I missed! But you're falling Meteor's might, so... <sighs> By the way, yes, I, I am looking into using my yellow potion soon, so I'm not, I'm not, uh, I'm not gonna push it to the extreme by, uh, yeah, just by not, uh, I mean, by doing it, like, on a, a quarter heart or something like that. That would be ridiculous. No, 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 I'm gonna wait until I'm down to, like, one heart or just slightly less. Because it doesn't seem like there's, or there's anything that... Oops, well, there we go. It doesn't seem like that there's anything that'll do more than one heart of damage, so... Yeah, this will recover our hearts to the maximum. And once again, I'm doing badly on this boss. <laughs> this is clearly not the boss for me in this walkthrough. Okay, can I avoid your attack? Yes, I can. Use that arm. Alright, this time, right on there. Jump. Jump, okay. Alright, I mean, all I was doing was tapping that time, not just moving myself, just tapping. <laughs> Alrighty. So we are in the next phase, and hopefully, hopefully, we'll be able to pull this off. <laughs> Alright, I know you want to put your hands down, there you go. Because you're just, it's just what you want to do at this point. And I can go for the backs. And, ooh, shoot, that's not good. You're going to want to put your hands out again, aren't you? Yeah, I think you are. I think you are. Yep. <sighs> Wait, why, did, why is that not hitting it when... I guess they have to be glowing strong enough for it to actually hit them? I don't know. Alright, going up to the upper level. 17 arrows left. And... No, no, no. Okay, slightly to the right of the eye. Yep, there we go. Alright, this should be it. This should be the end of Kragma, assuming that I don't flub my sword attacks. <laughs> Which I, I always, there's always that possibility of me pulling that off. Yeah. 
Take that, Shadow of the Colossus! Colossus Sky Kragma! <laughs> Next boss. <laughs> Okie dokie. So yeah, that's that's about the point that I want to use the yellow potions is when I'm at one heart or a little bit lower. Sand rod time, and you know, maybe a little boomerang here and there. Because the Skeldritch is back, and it will do its best to kill us, or at the very least, stall us. <laughs> Here we go. Oh boy, <laughs> this is not going to be pretty. <laughs> okay, maybe it'll be pretty. It's not that difficult of a boss, it's just a matter of that laser. The rest of the stuff is okay. Alright, boulder time right off the bat, and you're going onto the switch right off the bat. Get, get over there, get over, thank you. That's sand rod though, oh, scratch damage. <laughs> that sand rod though can still be quite finicky. <laughs> Alright, show your power. Kind of. <laughs> just kind of move that over there while those other boulders explode into themselves, or break into themselves. There we go, around, 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 go, 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 oh, laser, 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 panic, 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 yeah, okay, that's not, that's, not, that's not the rotational laser. The rotational laser is the more dangerous one. <laughs> Oops, I didn't mean to get on top of that, but that will be okay anyway. All you need to do is do some dodging here. Loo. Oh, wait, why did I get that out? I just want this. There you go! Alright, now I gotta hit him from the back. Based on where that opening of its armor is. So, it doesn't matter where we start next to boulder. Oh, it, oh, that's not the back one, that's the side one. Yeah, it doesn't matter where we start the boulder from, just as long as we get it... <laughs> just as long as we get that sucker to hit the side that is open and weak. Did I get it in place? No, I did not. Nope, nope, nope. It's, that might, that might, be, might be a little scary there. Okay. <laughs> okay, it was a little scary there because I'm trying to conserve my energy. Alright. I'll just let him do some boulders here. Boing. Boing. Three. I think that's it, right? Yeah. So I'm going to hit that with my... Dang it, I didn't lock on. Ah, shoot, 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 shoot. I'll let him cycle again. Just, just to be safe. <laughs> Never, never can be too safe when you're trying to conserve health. There we go! Now this is the one that's from the back. And sand rod, sand rod, sand rod. No, no! no. Why did I click that one? I said sand rod, dang it. And... Fire! Fire! <laughs> oh, no, that one got through! <laughs> this is awkward! <laughs> yeah, you gotta have a lot of sand for those red-hot boulders. So... Get them all filled with sand. There you go. I'll just let you destroy those. Oh, actually, oh, I got three in play now. That's actually really nice because I can get the, um, I can get that on there. Oh, you destroyed them. Dang it! I was gonna say I can get them on there. I can go behind them and then kind of move the other ones around them with the sand rod. But alas, alas, you destroyed them. <laughs> Another itch. That's okay, itch taken care of, as long as there's a cutscene. And sand rod. Meow. Fill them up. Fill it up. And also get it out of the way so it doesn't get destroyed. There we go, get it onto there as quickly as possible, preferably. Come on, come on. But, oh, I resized the window again! <laughs> Dang it! Okay, uh, well, I, I'm gonna have to wait for the next cycle anyway. <laughs> okay, it's number four, and... Oh, that's actually terribly, terribly in the way. Uh, okay, so which side was that on again? Um, I think it was on his left corner side. Like over, like over there or something. Let's try it. It was not... <laughs> <laughs> I tried. I tried. Because I forgot its location. Yeah, let's get that back out there. Oh! I could. I 
this, I had the stylus on the screen. Why didn't I move? Well, oh, whatever. I still have another yellow potion at my disposal. Oh, you! <laughs> you just had to ruin things, didn't ya? Didn't ya? Okay, back on you go. Back on. <laughs> of course, it would move that way. <laughs> wow. Fine, we'll go over to this one. That'll do just as well. Oops. Almost as well. <laughs> oh no, not the circular laser. No, 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 <laughs> I'm sure there's some way to do it. Like, maybe you can block the shots with your sand rod or something like that. Maybe? I, I just never really tried that before, so maybe maybe that's why I never always took damage from that. Who knows? Who knows? All I know is this... Dang it. As I was going to say, all I know is this could be the end of our humongous Staffos buddy here. Maybe. <laughs> Still need to be able to hit that... Or, no, no, no! Dang it! Ah, oh, shoot! Eh, eh, eh. Okay. Oh, it is. It, oh, it is his back. Um, back, right side. Well, left's on our side. But okay. All right. Now we're in the phase where it's safe. <laughs> Bring it on! Oh yeah. Oh, oh no, I don't have the sand rod out. It's not safe if I don't have the sand rod out. When I have the sand rod out, then we're okay. Because <laughs> it's like, eh, can't really do much of anything. You just kind of get stuck in the sand. Yeah, just have to keep bringing ourselves up to the top where it is. And we are golden. Oh, yeah! Oh, yeah! That was atrocious. <laughs> but we're done. Oh, we're done. I just had a swig of milk there to refresh my throats. All right. What is our prize at the end? Well, what we get here is a pirate necklace. Woo! Like, that's not actually that good of a prize. Could there be more? Why, yes, there is. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. All these hearts? This is not good. <laughs> this place is not supposed to give hearts. Uh-oh. <laughs> you know something big is coming. The secret boss? Dark Link! Yup! Oh jeez! <laughs> it's got all of our tools, but we do not! <laughs> and it's also got a special boss theme to boot! Ugh. It's kind of it's kind of tricky to get damage on him because of the shield, but that's the point! <laughs> you gotta find the, uh, an opening on the side and swing your sword. Yeah, it's, it's, got, it's got all the moves! At, whoops! <laughs> It's even got the hurricane spin! <laughs> I think it's got everything that you have, basically. So, if you don't... Dang it! If you don't have the hurricane spin, you will, uh... You should be safe, safer from it, but... Unfortunately, I do, but that helped with the other floors, so I don't regret it that much. Dang it! Aha! Oh, I actually did a little damage to you, there we go. Eh, no, 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 no. It's gotta get you into a position that you... Make yourself vulnerable. Uh, ah, it's usually like right after a sword strike, or when it's got its arms up in the air. Uh, yeah, this is... it's a pretty formidable boss. <laughs> Especially since, you know, it comes after all of what you went after before, and yeah. Oh boy. <laughs> I guess I could do hurricane spins on my own. Yeah, well, if you let me. <laughs> Oh shoot! Maybe that's not a good idea. There's a there's it's a big hole around the edges there. <laughs> oh and yes, he can knock you off the edge, but you cannot knock him off the edge. Fair, right? <laughs> but then again, this whole boss fight is not designed to be fair. It takes all of your items away from the get-go. 
It is very, very difficult to get damage on this boss. <laughs> it doesn't mirror your attacks like uh, uh, like an Ocarina of Time's uh, Shadow Link sort of kind of, you know, where it can jump on your sword and stuff like that. So, you, uh, so there is some method to the madness, but it's not. It's definitely still not one of the easiest bosses. I mean, look how much damage I took already. And where are you going over there? <laughs> Oh, I win! I win! Woo Holy poopers! <laughs> Obviously, if I was better at that boss, I could have taken less damage, but that's still a tough boss. Woo! Woo! Possibly the hardest in the game, actually. <clears throat> you mean you cleared out level 3, too? Even I couldn't do that, and I made the place! And that's why you're imitation Jolene. You will not replace Jolene! I miss Jolene. Just so you know, the, 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 yeah, the, your, <laughs> your, the, your time for this... The, your time. That's, that's grammatically incorrect there. But the, the, your time for this level was 4026. Scribble out that the. Nice going! See, I told you this would take two parts. Here's your prize this time. Hope you like it. I do, because it's a regal ring. Woo! Yeah, baby! Yeah, baby! Woo! Woo! I say. <laughs> Actually, I thought I was supposed to get the quiver from this. Uh, you know that that quiver that, quiver that uh, that was at the Goron Village, but hmm. I wonder where you get that from then, if it's not here, because I could have swore you got it from some sort of mini game, and I thought this was the one that you got it from if you beat it. But no, I got a regal ring. Well, I mean, I guess the regal ring gives us plenty of uh, rupees to be able to go and get it, because then you just sell the regal ring and then you get it. But yeah, I could have swore that there's some mini game that would allow us to do that, like just get it without having to buy it at the the Goron shop. So, anyway, that place is all cleared out, and I'm gonna go look into where I can get that quiver for free really quick. <laughs> nope, I looked into it, and you actually do have to buy an upgrade over there at the Snow Sanctuary. So, I, I was mistaken, I thought you could get that other one for free, maybe I was thinking of some other sort of Zelda game. So, I'm gonna go ahead here and sell some treasures. I'll sell two of these, I suppose. I'll sell one of these. There we go, that should... Well, actually, you know what, I could sell both of them. Because uh, I'm gonna end up getting a whole bunch of uh, extra ones. I still haven't done the grinding to get more of these, just for some extra rupees off camera, you know, for the beetle heart container and whatnot. I'm lazy when it comes to grinding, I admit it, I hate grinding, dang it. <laughs> So yeah, I, I can always get more of those regal rings just by going through the uh, Lost at Sea Station's dungeon over and over and over again, so yeah, yeah. So the regal ring's relatively common and relatively quick to get-ish. So I, I figured, hey, if, if I sell them here, it'll be okay, because yeah, I have the rupee capacity to hold them, so none are going to waste. Anyway, Snow Sanctuary, through Gate 2. We knew it was here all along, but alas, we had to come back for it anyway. <laughs> oh, whoa, wait, 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 is that? Wait, where's the quiver that... Huh? Oh, no, 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 shoot! It was over at the Gorons! Shoot! <clears throat> As I was saying, we knew it was here the whole time. <laughs> Alright, so, yeah, and I, I I don't know why I confused this for the other place. I, I think it's because I went I went back here to get the yellow potion and seen it here, and I, and I kind of kind of put it in the, my mind like it was over at the other one because I got the heart piece over there again it's another major item and yeah we have now maxed out our arrows Woo! Woo! you will never be able to get another one of those in stock because there is no more in the game behold 50 arrows is our max 
Oh yeah! Max out the arrows, max out the bombs, max out the rabbits! And with that, I'm gonna end off the part here. I hope you enjoyed, and I will see you in the next part when we go over, I should say back to, the Tower of Spirits.